Data Merge is a feature that will help you populate data from a data source into a document. This can help you create a photography lookbook, business cards, catalogues, and even tickets. But there's also a lot more possibilities with this feature. In this tutorial, I'm going to take you through the key data merge steps from creating a data source to designing a data merge ready spread and then finally generating. The first thing you'll need is your data source. This is sometimes sent to you from a colleague or a client. You might even have to collate the data yourself for a project. Always remember when creating or checking the data source, the first row has the names of the fields you use to categorize your records here. For example, lightning name. This is the field and these are the records. Now let's go and add in the image path, which will locate and insert the image into your publisher document later. To do this on Mac, locate your finder window and then right click on the image and hold down option. This will then give you the option to copy as path name. On Windows, locate and select your image and right click on the address bar to copy the path. Now all we need to do is copy and paste into the data source. And we'll do it one more time for the other image. We can now go ahead and import the data source. As this source is already an Excel file, we will use this, but you could also use JSON, CSV, TSV, or plain files if needed. Let's save this for now to update it. And we'll head to Publisher. When you open Publisher, remember to have a single page or a spread. Also not to have any blank pages after or before as these will get repeated when you generate the data merge later. Let's break down the possible scenarios you can use data merge. In this tutorial, we'll be using data merge to create the inside product pages of a catalog. This scenario will also suit you if you're creating a personal certificate, letters, greeting cards, and more. You can also create lookbooks and photo books with multiple different designs. And then when you generate the data records, it will process multiple spreads until the records have been processed. If you want to learn how to use the data merge tool for business cards, tickets, badges, and passes, Anything that will require repeated design for more than one data record. Watch the rest of this tutorial and then view our tutorial on how to use the data merge layout tool. Now let's import our data source. I've already set up our layout here with picture frames and text frames. If you wanted, you can also add another page with a different layout and it will generate with these two designs. So now we've added our new page and attach the master. Let's also add a picture frame as the background image. Let's go and place our image now. And we'll add another picture frame to use in our data merge. And the last thing we need to do is just set up some properties for this picture frame. Paragraph styles have already been set up in the document and will generate with these styles. This saves you a lot of time in the future. Now we are ready to start the key steps on inputting the fields so we can generate the data merge. For this, we need the fields panel, which is located in the view menu, studio, and fields. And let's leave that over here for now. And of course, we need the data merge manager, which is located in document and data merge manager. Now we have this open, let's add in our data merge just at the bottom left hand corner here. Let's locate the data merge file and open it. We're using an Excel file, but remember you can also use JSON, CSV, TSV, or plain text if needed. Now that's imported, let's break down the options. Here you can update the data source at any time. This is useful if the data source has been modified. You'll need to go back to the data merge manager and update for that to reflect in your document. You can also use show to locate the file on your machine. And select is used to change or replace the data source file. The filter options are really handy, especially if you need to decide what records you'll want to include in the data merge. For example, I can have 
three to seven instead of all records. Don't forget you can also make changes to these at any time. And with preview, if you want to be able to see how the fields look to make sure the text frames are big enough or the picture frames have the right properties, then turn on preview. And as you can see in the fields panel, turning preview on reflects the record. And you can select next to show a record you want to preview. And we'll come back to the merge settings after we've imported the fields into our frames. Let's close this for now and come back to it. We're going to need the fields panel for this stage and let's start importing the fields to tell the data merge where the records will be placed. Let's start with the text. All you need to do is locate the field and simply double click when you're inside the text frame. Let's go ahead and input all these now. As you can see, it takes no time at all especially when you set up your textiles and your text frames to begin with. And because we have preview on, we can see exactly if the text box is too big or too small. And finally, we'll add in the price. Now we've added all those in, Let's do the same with the picture frames. All you need to do here is select the picture frame and double click on the image path. Because we've already set properties up earlier, this has reflected this in the preview. Now let's do the same to the other picture frame. Now we've completed this key stage, all that's left to do is to generate. Let's go and locate our data merge manager again. The merge page settings allow you to enable merging to allow you to use an alternative data source. You can also use it to control what pages you want to be merged. So let's say you only want to merge from page two to page two. For now, we just want all pages to be repeated. And now let's go ahead and generate. As you can see, this has been generated into a new document which protects our old document if we need to go back and make any modifications. This is looking great, but I think we need to make one more adjustment to a picture frame, which we can do just here. If you want to learn how to use the data merge layout tool, then visit the tutorial after this. I hope you've enjoyed and thank you for watching.